السلام علیکم مائی سیلف از حافظہ عریبا اعظم فرام بایو سائنس تھرڈ سمیسٹر مائی پریزنٹیشن ٹاپک از ٹیریڈو فائرس فرسٹ وی ڈسکشن از وٹ از ٹیریڈو فائرس ٹیریڈو فائرس آر واسکولر پلانٹس ڈیٹ ریپروڈیوس اینڈ ڈسپرس ویا اسپورٹس بیکاز دے پروڈیوس نائدر فلاورس نور سیڈس دے آر ایفر ٹو ایز کرپٹو گیمس دا ڈویژن آف ٹیریڈو فائٹا Includes a group of primitive vascular plants. Pteridophytes and their relatives are considered as some of Earth's first land plants. Pteridophytes and those relatives are considered as some of Earth's first land plants. Pteridophytes are mostly terrestrial or aquatic and some species are also epiphytes that grow on the branches of trees. More than 12,000 different species of ferns are distributed worldwide. The adult plant body is known as sporophyte. Characteristic of uh, pteridophytes are they are seedless, they are vascular plants that show the alternation of generation. The sporophyte has true stem, roots and leaves. They are reproduced by spores which are derived in sporangia. Next time, uh, general characteristic of pteridophytes, they are generally non-woody plants, but some giant ferns can be considered semi-woody. The leaves are called fronds. Most are compounds with the rachis and numerous pinnae almost all have circinate vernation. They are coiled tightly over the growing tips. They, these unroll the, as they mature. They also have specialized leaves that produce spores called sporophylls. Next step, they are vascular plants with well-developed internal vein structure with xylem and phloem that allow the movement of water and nutrients. Roots are simple and ar arise adventitiously along the rhizome near the base of the stem. Next step, habitat. Pteridophytes are delicate plants that only grow in areas where they are suitably moist conditions. They favor sheltered areas under the forest canopy along creeks and streams and other sources of permanent moisture. They cannot grow readily in hot dry areas like flowering plants and conifers. Next is sporophylls and sporangia, reproduced by spores, not seed. Pteridophytes reproduction involves production of spores inside special structure called sporangia, which occur on the ventral surface of fertile leaves called sporophylls. The plants may be homosporous producing only one type of spores or heterosporous producing two different types of spores, smaller microscope and larger microscope. Next is reproduction. The spores germinate to produce a haploid gametophyte called prothallus. What is prothallus? A prothallus is a tiny heart-shaped thalloid structure with rhizoids. It is independent and chlorophyllous. It bears male reproductive organs called anthridia and female reproductive organs called artigonia. The homosporous pteridophytes produce bisexual gametophytes while heterosporous pteridophytes produce unisexual gametophytes. In gametophyte production is of ogamous type. Anthridia produce anthrizoids and archigornia enclose the egg cell. Fertilization requires water. The diploid zygote is retained in the archigonal winter where it develops into an embryo. An embryo develops in situ after fertilization and the sporophyte remains attached to the gametophyte till the development of roots. The life cycle of uh, pteridophytes includes an alternation of diploid sporophytic generation with a haploid gametophytic generation. Sporophytic generation is dominant in the life cycle. Next time, importance of ferns to humankind. Firstly, medicine. Herbalists have advocated some fern species of, for treatment of ulcer, intestinal infection and various other elements. Next step, food. Various non-Western cultures have used the starch rhizomes and stems of some fern species as a food. Tubers from the, from the king fern are a traditional food in New Zealand and the South Pacific. Fern tubers were used for food 30,000 years ago in Europe. Next, we have importance of ferns. Horticulture. Many pteridophytes are popular horticultural plants and are grown as landscape plants for cut foliage and also as house plants. Asplenum nidus, the bird's nest ferns. 
आगे है नेक्स्ट है फोसल फ्यूल सेवल हंड्रेड मिलियन ईयर्स अगो फंस एंड फन एलीज वर द डोमिनेंट टेस्टियल प्लांट दस द फोसल ऑफ दीज प्लांट हैव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड ग्रेटली टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑवर फोसल फ्यूल्स कॉल ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस नेक्स्ट है ग्रीन मैनर एजोला आर वेरी स्मॉल फ्लोटिंग प्लांट हैव अबिलिटी टू फिक्स एटमोसफेरिक नाइट्रोजन आर यूज एज फर्टिलाइजर इन दी राइस पैडीज पार्टिकुलरली इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया नेक्स्ट है रिमूवल ऑफ हैविंग प्लांट फंड हैव बीन स्टडीड एंड फाउंड टू बी यूजफुल इन द रिमूवल ऑफ हैवी मेटल्स स्पेशली आर्सैनिक फ्रॉम दिस ऑयल फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेरिस नेक्स्ट है नोशियस वीड Salvinia mulatta is one of the world's most aquatic weed. Thank you.